Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources. So, at Republic, how to make chemicals out of iron, offshore oil platforms. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources. So, at Republic, Mod Monday, how to make chemicals out of iron, offshore oil platforms, and American map. Right, disclaimer, a lot, a lot of nice modders out there, a lot of nice mods. Uh, there's a lot of mods I didn't cover, like Mr. Legend Gamer, I would wish we couldn't squeeze any in here, but there are other mods from him here as well. So go out and check on our Steam Workshop, there are a lot of beautiful mods, you're gonna find something for yourself, almost four and a half thousand. Right, so Mr. Lex713 and Blue Bro Offshore Pack. Now, this is a pack of three buildings. You're gonna read description how they function and how, what they do. Uh, they're actually quite amazing. Three different platforms. They can have workers delivered by helicopters. And also, you have two of these bad boys. One of them is for docking your ships extra ships can be parked here and they're gonna stay here in between these buoys and then you have also the offshore transfer station there's a explanation how they work please check everything in the link in the description this is something amazing mr legend gamer administrative zdanie <laughs> ATM, <laughs> administrative building pack. Right, this is my Russian. That's how, that, how, that if I was Russian, that's how I would sound. Right. So this is three new buildings uh, from the heavy engineering plant version two central factory laboratory. Consumes small amount of iron ore, produces some iron and chemicals. Research department, university technical shop of uh, electronic equipment manufactures electronics. Three buildings. So university, bam bam. You have a university technical one. All good. Second one, elect uh, electronic factory. It produces one ton of electronics, and this is what it consumes. It consumes, well, I have to say, quite a lot. And the last building here is actually the most interesting one. We finally can make chemicals out of iron ore. So you have iron ore was 0 0.16 tons. That's 160 kilos of iron ore. You get 72 kilos of chemicals and 110 kilos of iron. This is something really, really interesting. I'm gonna, I can't wait to test this out. And for you guys, you can check it out in the description of the video. Unfortunately, there's no comparison with anything from from the platforms and from this pack because these buildings are quite unique Univer not university but the rest of them are mr vladimir ilich ulyanov big fountain <laughs> lenin's lenin with uh, simulated water this is a mod made by tom tom total um, and it's of course something that i'm going to be promoting more in the future more monuments more everything this is a really really beautiful building it has a visual representation of the water it's actually moving it's quite quite cool it's a monument check it out in the link in description of the video mr robs 074 polish gas stations polish gas stations for two and four vehicles standard one in a one-way version are available okay this is something we can compare to vanilla ones and i have everything ready over here now these are uh, polish style pa petrol stations this is definitely something i'm going to be using in my let's plays and i was looking for new petrol stations unfortunately there are quite a limited amount of them and this gives us four new ones for smaller rural areas and for big urban areas as well so how does it compare to, to vanilla ones so if we go to our mods and we go to our fuel station gas station and we have here first the the pass through let's go with one 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 road station so that would be for those two you can see that uh, requ uh, requirement is 127 work days 6.3 tons of concrete yada 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 you can screen you can see all the information on screen if you wish and final verdict is that the uh, petrol stations for mr robs are more expensive than vanilla ones which makes them definitely less than cheaty uh, construction wise they are absolutely beautiful and all of them are the in the same style so they are more expensive than the vanilla ones and they can you can compare them here with the resources requirement and mr rob 074 second time these are 
Distribution offices. Based on a real building in Lublin, Poland includes versions of 2, 4 and 15 vehicles. Now this is gonna be hard, if you think that this is the last mod from Mr. Robs, you're mistaken as well, but uh, this is gonna be hard to compare to vanilla one because we have only 5 and 12 vehicle vanilla ones, while we have eight, 4, 8 and 15 vehicle distribution offices over here. Definitely something I'm gonna be using in my let's plays. We're gonna rotate it in this way so just we can compare the prices. So this is the four small distribution office which is uh, which is the vanilla one if we go to a mod section and we go to our distribution offices we can see here see here sorry we can see here our distribution offices are these three over here so the smallest one requires 699 days to be finished which is a little bit less than vanilla one but it does take has have 20 percent less vehicles or four instead of five. Now the bigger ones are also interesting. The bigger ones we have is eight vehicles, which is 50% less than vanilla big distribution office, which requires 1,726 uh, days to be finished and requires the, more or less the same amount of materials, a little bit of less bricks and a little bit less of boards, but more or less everything else is equal to vanilla one. Given that it takes 50% less vehicles, definitely not something that should be considered as um, cheating. And the last one is Big Distribution Office, which is really, really expensive. It's almost... It's almost, it's almost the same as the vanilla one, except the steel requirement is 50% more, which is absolutely enormous, and the asphalt is double the amount, plus the concrete is almost double the amount. So definitely something that is more expensive than the vanilla buildings, but definitely worth it because they have amazing, amazing details to them and actually yeah, unique style of making them. And the last set from Mr. Robs. This is construction offices based on real buildings, yada, yada, yada. You have description of this mod in the description of this video, and this is definitely something I'm going to be using in my videos. So you have uh, the includes three versions for 10, 20, and 32 vehicles. How does it compare to the vanilla one? It doesn't, because it uh, the, we only have one vanilla one, and we have three of those. Only the cheap one could be comparable. The cheapest, the smallest one. I'm not even sure if it's the cheapest one, but we can check real quickly. So the smallest one here, it requires 549 work days to be finished and it requires up to four times more steel to be constructed. Rest of it, it's comparable. It has 50% to several times more materials, even for the smallest ones. If we grow in size, it goes all the way to almost 20 times more uh, steel for the, for it to be considered co constructed. So it's definitely not something that is cheap or that is going to be a cheaty mod for cheapness of its production. This is definitely something I'm going to be using myself. Okay, you wanted weird? I give you Mr. Novo <laughs> horse room vehicles. We have a set of eight vehicles. They're all horses. And then we have a farms, farmstead, little uh, farmstead, tiny farmstead for seven vehicles over here. It ha it's, it's actually a small farm that also produces... Well, actually, it doesn't seem like it's producing here, but uh, it doesn't it doesn't require any people. But it says in the description of the mod that it has some kind of production. Let me show you this real quickly. I won't be comparing this to any farms because this is something that is... Well, you have a vehicle production date. Just heads up on that. Horses do have expiration date on them. Well, construction of them. Anyway, so if you go to our farm section, you can see here that it says maximum production per workday is 10 kilos of crops. I thought that it's going to be producing crops as well. Uh, but unfortunately it doesn't you have to it, it acts as a farm this is something really really interesting and for you guys who are playing cosmonaut mods and starting really really early this is something that you want to have now vehicle wise this is also interesting part you can see vehicles you can see vehicles you can see horses over here and we have eight different types of horses so we have crazy draft draft riding horse uh, covered wagon horse drone I have no idea what this is. This is Horde Drone Combine. Oh, right, yeah. And then we have a uh, open hull wagon. And we're going to talk about this in a second. So, uh, the capacities. And then we have Horde Drone Dumper and Oil Wagon. Now, these are vehicles, the like normal vehicles, they have their capacities. For example, most of them is around three tons. Of course, they lower the capacity respectively of what they're carrying all the way to less than a ton of plastics. Same with um, with uh, Open Hull that has one three tons of steel all the way down to 1.8 tons of uranium oxide. 
similar to loose cargo loose cargo is all the same three tons and of course oil liquids is three tons as well it has barrels there that you can transport in them now this is something really really unique and this is something it would be my favorite one if uh, actually covers the dates that uh, they can be used now heads up these vehicles <laughs> these horses they have they uh, from 18 i believe it's from 1899 to 1960 let me just check real quickly when you can actually buy them if you go all the way to the back we're gonna have the dates that horses can be used well bought 1969 1990 to 1969 so heads up on that after 1969 you're not gonna be able to buy this probably you can manufacture them in your automobile plant okay the map okay i give you mackinac by mr morkop mr morkop uh created this this is a map of Mackinac Island or Mackinac region of Michigan. Uh, he says, I hope you're going to enjoy it. Let me know if any comments, any suggestions. Okay, yada, yada, yada. That's just being curt courteous. Now, this is a real representation of the area because I checked this and this island, everything here fits perfectly. And I think there's a real life bridge over here uh, crossing these two land masses. Now, challenging part of this map, most of the border crossings don't have a lot of flat lands to build upon next to the border crossings to the Soviet countries and you have only one to three crossings to american countries one of them being overseas and two of them being here but of course because this is surprise surprise soviet soviet republic soviet border crossings are going to be more important for us and they're not so easily accessible just a heads up on that we do have a little bit of a flat land over here and um, a big border crossing but i wouldn't be building town this close to the border probably somewhere on the outskirts maybe a little bit closer to this one over here and also there's one border crossing clo close to the sea to the shore over here as you can see it now this map is absolutely beautiful geography here is well thought of and i have to show you something so if you go all the way down press ctrl g and just play around this map and go around and check out the scenery this is something absolutely beautiful it shows that it was a lot of effort invested in this and i really really like it now if you want to play if you want to know more about this map you can find the link in the description of the video and if you like this video you can press the like button if you didn't leave a nasty comment in the comment section dislike button as well let me know what you think if you want to support the channel you have description of the video and as i said my favorite mode is petrol stations in this case guys have a nice monday and see you in the next one bye bye